Okay, so this is where it all starts. This is the, our microfabrication lab where we actually make the chips. This is a mold for a gut and a chip. This is the mold that you made. And, and then you pour the silicon yep. and is that the silicon? And that will create the channels where ah, we put the cells. Okay. So now you have your channels and each one of these is a chip. Oh, so there's can... four chips yeah. in this. Okay. And she's going to cut out a very, very thin membrane and it's, it's right on here, but it's so thin that you can barely see right, it. Right, you really can't. You, you, you really can just, can't. It almost looks like a piece of sellotape stuck on That's sort of exactly. a yeah. piece of clear glass. Except it's going to okay. be even thinner even than the, that. Yeah. And so now what we have to do is you've got your bottom, uh -huh. you've got your membrane in the middle, uh -huh. and you've got your top channel. Uh -huh. Now what we need to do is get them all in a sandwich. The way to do that is we use this instrument here that produces a plasma treatment uh -huh. of the surface. Uh -huh. And what that does, it changes the chemistry, so it allows them to become sticky, and you can stick each of the layers together. Once the biochip has been put together, it's time for the human cells. The organ part, straight from the university's deep freeze under sterile conditions. So um, now we're all suited and booted. Yes. I have the vial. So what now? So now we actually take the cells and mm -hmm. we process them so that you can get the cells ready to put on a chip. And you can see here, these have been processed. And right there, that pellet, that dark, that's actually all the cells that we're going to put on the chip. So, so this yes. is processed and becomes that. Exactly. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the cells, which is so small you can't actually see it, and we will load them into the chip. And you can see here on the screen, this is a shot of what we could see in the microscope, and you can actually see this is the channel as so this is fully that loaded, right now. Yeah, so as it's fully loaded with the cells. So this is this what is you this. you can see when you Go. place the cells. And we want to look down the microscope to make sure we have a sufficient amount of cells uh -huh. and they're being appropriately loaded on there. So now we're in the engineering area. Uh -huh. And we're going to show you one of the things that our engineers made for us. They designed and okay. And this is an actual long on a chip. Uh -huh. And what you can see here is a long on a chip breathing. It's actually contracting and relaxing. So, hang on, okay, so we injected the cells yep. onto that chip, made it. A long chip, uh -huh. it's ready to be used, the cells are happy, and now we That's actually... That's the results, we're actually seeing what's happening. Yep. And we're focused on the membrane in the middle, and you can see the membrane contracting and relaxing, just like our lungs expand and contract as we breathe the air in. A vacuum pump recreates the way lungs physically expand and contract during breathing. Air is also passed over the cells too. The idea is to mimic the lung as closely as possible. The noise? That's the lung on a chip breathing. This is a living, breathing lung on a chip. 